Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are checking out three creations, starting with this one, which is the Black Fox, the Fox? Black Fox Racing Helicopter. So, let's go ahead and jump in this thing, then we've got a DC-3 to fly, and then we've actually got a 50-foot custom yacht as well. So, um, we're gonna check out all of these today, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and fly the Black Fox. This was actually built by Logs, and uh, it's obviously going to be amazing, but um, let's go ahead and start it up. So we got our main power, let's go ahead and turn that on. We got our navigation lights, let's go ahead and turn that on. Engine, rotor clutch, and um, that's it. We're good to go. We'll just wait for it to spin up, and then we'll be good to fly. Okay, so as we start up, uh, it is obviously spinning around. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's turning around because of the wind. All right, that's fine. That's okay. Um, so, if we have a quick little look at this thing, it's obviously got one blade on the top, um, but it's got two things firing out of its butt, and those are jet engines. It's got two jet engines in its butt. So, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, fly this around a little bit. We're actually going to fly straight forwards. Let's go. We'll follow the train line. So, this is actually really cool. It essentially turns from a helicopter into a plane. <laughs> it's so cool. It is so, so cool. But yeah, it goes straight from a helicopter, straight into a plane, and uh, we can literally just fly this thing around like this. It's pretty crazy, but I do like it. It's, it's actually really awesome. All right, awesome. So, how fast are we actually going right now? No, no, I can't, I can't speak. What am I even saying? Um, that looks like it's going 238 knots, question mark? Is that KN? Yeah, I think that's KN. That's pretty fast. In fact, that's really fast. That is very, very, very fast. Um, and I don't really know where we're going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue flying this direction, uh, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to reveal the map, and we're going to be able to see where we're going. Also, it is descending, so, oh god, that's not good. Um, right, where are we? Okay, so we're gonna continue this direction, and then we're gonna cut, cut across, and we're gonna land at this airport, take off in the DC-3, fly from that airport all the way over to this airport, land it right there, and then we'll take the boat from here, um, and we'll just drive it around. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, I don't know whether you guys have noticed, but uh, I haven't actually changed the weather at all either, so we are fighting the wind, we're fighting the rain, and uh, it's also pretty foggy right now too, which is kind of crazy. But um, we're getting there. We're almost at the airfield, uh, and we'll just land. Yeah, easy peasy. Meow. All right, cool. This thing is actually so fast, and really, 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 really easy to use. It's actually uh, crazy how easy to use this thing is. Um, but essentially, we're just gonna fly over to the airfield, which is just over here. Uh, we're gonna park ourselves down on the ground. And then, essentially, we're just going to get in the DC-3, take off, and fly away. So, here we go! Woo! There we go. All right, I think we're pretty good. I don't want to be going too fast as I go in here, because, I don't know, it'll turn from helicopter into plane again. Uh, but essentially, yeah, we just got to land this thing. All right, landing gear's down. And we are landed. All right, fantastic. That was easy. Open the door. What's actually in the back of this thing? We've got an empty thing on the floor. Uh, we've got... Oh, wait, everything's empty. Why? I don't know why everything's empty. Weird. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, the DC-3 is such a beautiful plane. And uh, in Stormworks, this actually looks insane too. It is spinning around because of the wind. So I'm going to turn the wind off and then I'll spawn it in again. I've also sort of changed the weather completely, but that's okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump inside this thing. It was built by Arctic Shark. And um, yeah, the DC-3 has to be one of my, I don't know, most favorite planes in the world. I really, really like this thing. Anyway, interior lighting and heating should go on. Driver's seat. <laughs> we got driver's seats in here. Uh, let's go ahead and try and figure this out. So, um, mixtures. Oh, God, we got mixtures and everything. Automatic prop pitch. Yep, okay. Fuel cross feed. We might as well turn that on. We've got all of these in the roof. Ignition switches. Okay. Need to turn on the battery. There we go. Very nice. Okay, cool. Do this and this and this and this. All right, is that not going to work? I don't know what I'm doing. Cool. Um, do, 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 do. Instrument panel lights. Uh, boost pumps. There we go. Engine starter switches. Do this. There we go. Very nice. And we're ready, I think. Go. 
All right, we're going. We need to sit in the seat. Yes. All right, floor it. Let's just floor it and take off. These things should have like a really quick takeoff time. And here we go. Here we go. Are the brakes on? I don't know if the brakes are even on. We're going. We've broken both engines. All the propellers have been lost. And we are crashing. We've stopped. We must have had the brakes on. We've definitely got the, we've got the brake on. Right, so the brakes were definitely on last time. Let's go ahead and take off this time without the brakes being on. And that should be a good thing. So we're going to do this and this. We're going to do this and this. Uh, we're also going to do this and this. And I'm going to read the instructions. Engines have been started. All right, we are ready to go. So what do we do? We turn this off and this off. All right. We then turn this off. And then we do this. And then presumably we can actually just take off straight away. Please? Please say that's the case. I, I think we've stalled it out. I don't know what just happened. But it's not going well. <laughs> it's not going well. I don't know what just happened. Maybe the mixture needs to go up too. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go indeed. Yes. All right, we're in the sky. Nice. All right, cool. Landing gear. Bring it up. Raise the landing gear. There we go. Awesome. And we are flying a DC-3. I love these planes. They're so cool. Okay, so the whole point of this was actually to fly over to the other airport and uh, land this thing. I don't know if we've got any sort of, I don't know, automatic pitch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll make it fly in a straight line, presumably. Or pretty much a straight line. Yeah, good. So this is a thin air one. Uh, let's have a little look around the inside. We've got a radio uh, little box. We've got the hamburger door on the side. That's pretty epic. Uh, we got all of our seats in the back and whatever that is. Don't know what that is. And then we got a toilet, presumably. Yeah, a lavatory. Nice. That's awesome. Right, anyway, let's go ahead and get back in the front. Uh, and we'll be putting this thing on the ground very soon. Oh my, I just spotted a target. We're going to fly underneath the bridge. I, I really don't think this is a good idea, but whatever. Pitch control is... Whoa, Jesus! Pitch control is off. All right, and we are descending rapidly towards the earth. Okay, fantastic. And um, we're going to attempt to go underneath the bridge. I don't think this is a good idea. A DC-3 should not be attempting this. But um, we got this. We totally got... We're in a big plane. It's actually quite a big plane. Okay, we're a bit high. We're very high. All right, descend a little bit. Okay, and we are under, and we are out. Nice, we did it. That was actually very easy. Okay, so we're pulling up to the left because that's how we get to see the other airfield. I don't currently see it. It should be in front of us somewhere. Does anyone see it? I don't actually see the... It might be... Oh, I don't know where it is. Genuinely don't see it. Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it. Okay, right, landing gear is going to go down. Okay, um... Parking brake is off. Okay, fantastic. Landing gear is actually down. I think we got this. We can land. It'll be fine. This is what it looks like in first person, by the way. We don't really have too much of a like a, a view, but um, it's okay. It's okay. Turn the boost pumps off. There we go. Booster pumps are off. And it looks like we're actually lining up for the taxiway. But we're going to turn a little bit aggressively. And hopefully, we'll land on the actual runway itself. All right, here, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're going in. We're a bit high. Whoa, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I smacked it into the ground, but we're okay. Uh, our engine appears to have been broken. All right, turn the starters off because I, I did break it. I've broken this plane massively. Let's have a little look. Hold on. Hamburger door open up. Thank goodness. All right, and yeah, we don't have any... Whoa, whoa. I think the plane's still moving. It is. Uh, we don't have any propeller blades left. My bad. I did a whoopsie. Never mind. Um, but yeah, that plane is actually super cool. Very easy to fly. Uh, a little bit wobbly, but um, that's all right. I'm a bit wobbly too. Um, so yeah, right. Move on to the next one. Let's uh, check out the yacht now. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is awesome. Who is this actually made by? It's made by Yoint. Yoint. Um, right, okay. Let's go ahead and jump on. It's called the 50-foot custom Carolina Sportfish. Um, and yes, it has a table at the back. If we go inside. Wait, how do I turn the lights on? It's probably a better idea. There we go. Lights and cockpit lights. All right, good. So inside here, we've obviously got some little seats. That's pretty awesome. Let's close the door. Uh, we've got whatever this is. It looks like a little bar thing. I don't know. 
Uh, if we go a little bit further this way, we got a little dining room. We got our kitchen. If we go downstairs and we go forwards, we got a double bed. If we go sideways, we got bunk beds with lights. We got bunk beds with lights. And if we go this way, we get ourselves a shower and a toilet. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, move backwards. We need to go upstairs. We do. Uh, to get upstairs, we got ourselves a little ladder thing. <laughs> a little ladder thing, if I could get up here. Awesome. And uh, we got a flybridge. Is that what this thing's called? I think so. Anyway, outriggers in, outriggers out. Screen on, screen on. There we go. Throttle lever, engine on. Engine on. Lights on. And go. Yes. All right, fantastic. We're going. Okay, so we are actually sailing out into the ocean now, which is pretty epic. Um, it looks good. It looks really, really good. And I like the fact that we don't actually have, like, a proper bridge here. We don't actually have a proper bridge. Um, it's actually really cool that it's designed like that. I like it. Um, and yeah, you control it from the outside every single time. But, uh, we have this. I, I don't really know what this does. Is that those things on the side? I can't tell. It's an outrigger. I'm assuming it is the things on the out- Yeah, it is. It's definitely those things. Alright, let's stop. And, uh, we'll see what that does. Because I don't know. It's- it's just- it's just letting them out. Interesting. Okay, well that's not really something I really care about, so we're gonna bring it back in. We're gonna put this thing up against some waves, and uh, maybe even a tsunami. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Big waves are inbound. Um, I guess in like a situation like this in real life, I think what I would actually do is I'd keep the boat moving very slowly. Alright, throttle down. Massively. There we go. Keep the boat moving like very slowly. About half speed. I would go downstairs. I would get inside. Wait, what's this? We can actually get in the engine room. Oh, it's got an engine room. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I would get inside. Oh, God, I can't see anything. What is going on? Let me out. Let me out, please. Thank you. I would get inside the actual main main vehicle. There we go. I'd close the door. And I'd run down into my bed. And I would cry myself to sleep. That's what I would do. Not really something I'm allowed to do, though. Because um, we got a video to make. So go ahead and close that up. And uh, we'll just stand on the back. And, and wait for, for Armageddon, I guess. Yeah. Ripperoni and pepperoni to me, I, I think. You know what? Instead of doing that, uh, we could actually go to the top of the boat and hopefully hopefully just survive the tsunami. I don't think that's going to work, though. Honestly, I really don't think that's going to work. So, we got a bit of an issue. We do have a bit of an issue. Um, how, about we, how about we fight a tsunami? Let's do it. Here we go. Turn around. We're going to fight the tsunami with all we've got. Alright, we gotta turn into it to actually stand the chance of actually surviving this. We might even be able to surf it. I mean, that would be pretty cool. If we can surf it, that would be amazing. But, whoa, we got a bit of a problem with it sort of doing this kind of thing. And it's just not fun when it happens. So, we got an issue, but that's okay. Alright, slowly does it. Slowly does it. We're gonna surf up and hopefully pop ourselves over the other side. Here we go. Surfing tsunamis. Oh, no. Oh, oh, engines are slowly dying. And we've slowly popped over the other side. We're doing backflips and things. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, God, we're doing, like, barrel rolls. That's obviously not what I... What is happening? Okay, right. Settle down. Settle down. I think it, like, auto-rates itself, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it's not very balanced, is it? All right, you know what? We're going to just uh, beach it. We're going to beach this thing, and um, we're going we're gonna to leave it there. Uh, this is actually a really, really cool creation. I like the fact that it's... Um, it's different, you know, because there's nothing in here, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, we're beaching it, so here we go. Oy! There we go. Okay, we're on fire. <laughs> okay, we are on fire. Amazing. Oh, God. That's actually not amazing, but it's definitely beached. All right, well, anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. All of the vehicles I've actually used will be linked down below, and you guys can check them out for yourselves. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.